video trap. Right, I'm uh, back now, so I'm doing it a different way because that video that I tried it on only gives me a very short, um, very short time. So, <clears throat> um, basically, we've had this caravan for quite some time, and it's had this really horrible, um, thick. It was almost like um, masonry paint, which was textured, um, which they covered the whole van in, which was absolutely horrible. Um, I don't know where the turnaround button is on this. No, that's not it. Somebody's pinched the turnaround button. What's that one? Anyway, I shall carry on. So, there's the horrible thick stuff, and that's what I've just had a go at peeling off. And as you can see, it's going right virtually down to bare, um, to the bare aluminium without, without really scratching it, because I'm using a plastic scraper. Um, and if you can see that obviously some parts are stuck more than others um, but some places it's coming off absolutely brilliant sorry about the juggling around of the phone but where it's where it's really bubbled well and I've got a really good thick can you see like here look that's really bubbled well so obviously that just falls off some of it has also dried back on because I've left it probably slightly too long. Um, up here you've got really thin little residue left and that's obviously coming off the same and up here that's we did manage to get the coating off. Let's stand a bit higher. We did manage to get the coating off and it has taken off um, the rest of it back down to clean aluminium so this is um this is a industrial strength um stripper which i've ordered so i used to be in the trade um for paint stripping so i've ordered this um industrial strength stripper and obviously you can see the results now a lot of stuff that most of you will probably get from the diy shops um it will be a massively reduced strength hence why probably when you've put it on to your work you've not seen massive results um, so I think really it's a case of um, I need to look into it to see whether I can supply um, become a paint stripper dealer and supply this stripper um, so that's just a very quick demo once it's had its um, second coat I think if I'd done it more if I'd done it more liberally and intense it would have pretty much got it off in one go but I've had a fair bit of time in between letting it dry and doing other things so I think to be fair it could be pretty much done with two really really thick coats and it would get it as you can see it's got it right down to bare metal in places and then it is able to be washed off with soapy water to dissolve the actual paint stripper and uh, wash it down so it's a water washable paint stripper which is um, quite key because otherwise you've got to use solvents and that's very expensive on top of the price of the stripper Okay guys, I hope this helps and uh, any questions pop them in the um, list below. Thank you. Bye.